Tomo News presents Future Airplane Technology. Airbus files patent for removable cabin modules. French airmaker Airbus has come up with a new way to shave off time between flights. The patent designs the company released detail removable cabin modules, which could be swapped in and out of an aircraft to reduce turnaround time between flights. Airbus's concept for removable cabin modules would have passengers board a detached cabin from a docking station in anticipation of a plane's arrival. Passengers seat themselves while their luggage is stored, reducing processing time for boarding. Once the empty aircraft arrives in the terminal, the fully loaded cabin container would be lowered into the plane, locking into place before the plane departs. Once the flight lands at its destination, it pulls into a new gate at the airport, where the removable cabin would detach and be lifted up into a docking station. The plane would then be prepared to take on a new cabin of passengers. Although plans for such planes may never become a reality, it sure is fun to imagine less of a mess and less stress when it comes to flying. French company designs face-to-face -face airplane seating. A French manufacturer of aircraft passenger seats has filed a patent for a new seating design that would increase cabin capacity by having passengers face each other. The design is being met with strong objection by potential travelers. Zodiac Seats France's latest design called Economy Class Cabin Hexagon alternates the cabin seats between facing forward and facing backwards in order to increase cabin density. The bottoms of the seat can be folded up allowing passengers to access the middle and window seats. The company claims that the new design can increase space for the shoulder and arm areas as well as give each passenger four more inches of leg room. However, the company says it has no plans to put the new design into production at the moment. Airbus files a patent for stacked passenger seating. French aircraft maker Airbus is foretelling the possible future of air travel, whether you like it or not, with designs for cabin seating wherein flyers would be arranged in alternating rows on upper and lower levels. Hoping to make better use of unused upper lobe space in wide-bodied models such as the A380, Airbus has filed patents in Europe and the United States for split-level seating configurations. With what the company calls mezzanine seating, more passengers could recline to a flat, lying position. The proposed seating configurations would allow airlines to fit more people into a plane than they do currently. The economic benefits to airlines are obvious, but flyers may not be ready for these controversial ideas. Floating, weird seating arrangements is nothing new for Airbus. Last year, it filed a patent for standing saddle seats. Canadian engineer designs Mach 24 aircraft antipode. Charles Bombardier has done it again. The engineer just released concept designs for yet another supersonic aircraft, antipode. The plane has been conceptualized to carry as many as 10 passengers up to 12,430 miles in under an hour reaching speeds as high as 16,000 miles per hour. If you can imagine, the world's fastest car clocked in at about 270 miles per hour. At 16,000, or Mach 24, which is a little over 18,000, Antipo is estimated to be capable of traveling from London to New York in just 11 minutes, a flight that currently takes eight hours. Antipo comes on the heels of Bombardier's November 2015 aircraft concept, the Screamer, which promised to travel at Mach 10 speeds, but was rife with design flaws. Following Screamer's announcement, Bombardier was confronted with sonic boom and heating issues that would render the concept non-functional. Antipode is Bombardier's response to Screamer's flaws. But if you're looking to catch a ride anytime soon, don't hold your breath. The aircraft is years away from fruition as most of the technology required to make it functional has yet to be developed. But now that the DeLorean might be back in production, you might not even need a Mach 24 aircraft. Boeing officially launched the latest model of its 777 jets at the Dubai Air Show in mid-November. With a 71.1 meter wingspan, the Boeing 777X is the largest twin-engine jet in the world. Its tapered wings are designed to make flying more efficient. During landing, the wings will fold to ensure the aircraft can fit any jetway. The engine will be the biggest of its kind, Although the 777X will consume 12% less energy than its competitor, the Airbus A350-1000. There are two variants. 
the 777-8X and the 777-9X, which can carry 350 and 400 passengers respectively. The Boeing 777-8X is in direct competition with the Airbus A350-1000. The former has a range of 17,220 km, while the latter 14,816 km. Production of the 777-X will begin in 2017. The first batch of airplanes will be delivered in 2020. French adventurer Raphael Dinelli plans to fly across the Atlantic in 2015 in a plane powered only by algae and sunshine. The plane, called Erole, is made of carbon fiber and will measure 8 meters long with a wingspan of 14 meters. It will weigh 750 kilograms. A diesel generator powered by oil extracted from microalgae will generate 75% of the energy, while the other 25% will be provided by solar panels. Dineni plans to make the flight in June 2015 to exploit the long hours of sunshine at the summer solstice, although he says the flight will need good weather and favorable winds. Oh, there's a problem with the plane engine? Hmm, tape should do the trick. This is not really the kind of thing you want to see from the window of a plane that's about to take off. The image, which has racked up roughly 2 million views, shows a maintenance worker pulling what looks like duct tape across the outside of an EasyJet engine. But imager users say it's actually probably speed tape, a pressure-sensitive adhesive that's used for minor repairs on airplanes and race cars. And EasyJet was quick to comment on the page of Adam Wood, who shared the picture on Twitter. The airline wrote that the tape was there because of cosmetic work, not because of structural damage. Of course, that didn't stop the snarkiness. One Twitter user asked if he should bring super glue on his upcoming EasyJet flight. Would you feel comfortable flying on this plane? Leave your thoughts in the comments. People might be able to take the plane at train stations in the future by taking Clip airplanes created by Swiss inventors. Clip Air is composed of a flying wing and three flexible fuselages. The flying wing includes the cockpit, three motors, and it has a wingspan of 60 meters. The length of the fuselage is 30 meters, which is the same length of a train wagon. Clip Air can carry up to three fuselages that can carry either passengers, freight, or fuel. Passengers can board the plane at their local train stations. The train cars would then be plucked from the tracks and clipped onto the flying wing. The model is to be unveiled for the first time at the Paris Air Show between June 17th and June 19th. Japanese Space Agency tests supersonic plane with less sonic boom. Japan's Space Agency, JAXA, in cooperation with Sweden's SRAN Space Center, has successfully tested an experimental supersonic aircraft that emits a quieter sonic boom. The plane's design reduces shock waves typically created during supersonic flight, resulting in a quieter supersonic boom, according to popular mechanics. The aircraft represents an attempt to rectify some of the issues faced by the world's first supersonic commercial jet, the Concorde, which had its European routes cancelled due to noise levels. The plane, flight tested by Japanese space agency JAXA, was reportedly built to specifications conceived by Sweden's SRAN Space Center. In an experiment, the plane was dropped from a balloon at an altitude of 30 kilometers and reached supersonic speeds during the fall. The sonic boom data was collected via several aerial microphones attached to a blimp. JAXA expects to release detailed data from the experiment in the near future. Detachable airplane cabin could save lives. How do you survive a plane crash? In a detachable cabin, at least according to the Russian engineer behind the invention. After working on the project for three years, Vladimir Tatarenko released his designs for a life-saving plane cabin that could parachute passengers to safety. Tatarenko's invention is a separate passenger cabin that can be attached and detach from the main aircraft. Underneath the cabin is a storage space for luggage and the roof of the cabin houses parachutes which would be released automatically when the cabin detaches in an emergency whether during takeoff, mid-flight or landing. The capsule can land on both ground and water with boosters and inflatable rubber tubes helping to cushion the impact and get passengers and crew to safety with fewer than 500 people dying from plane crashes in any given year, the technology has received mixed reactions from people commenting online. NASA's new drone transforms from helicopter to airplane. 
NASA's latest unmanned aircraft combines the maneuverability of a helicopter with the speed of an airplane. The Greased Lightning, or GL-10, has eight electric motors on its wings and two electric motors on its tail. With a 10-foot wingspan, it weighs only 62 pounds. It takes off vertically like a helicopter and is able to switch to forward wingboard mode in mid-flight to fly like a conventional airplane. To land, the rotors tilt vertically again. The plane is also very quiet, making less noise than a lawnmower. It could be used for small package delivery, surveillance, mapping, and other functions. A much larger version of the drone could also be used as a personal air vehicle for one to four people. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is what a jetliner looks like as it uses a slide slip maneuver to battle a strong crosswind. X-Core Link's passenger spacecraft almost ready for space trips. Link's passenger spacecraft built by X-Core Aerospace is close to completion, the company said. Link's passenger spacecraft is a piloted two-seat vehicle, designed to fly one passenger to space and back in 30 minutes. The spacecraft takes off horizontally, like an airplane. 50 seconds later, the engines are lighted, the aircraft goes supersonic and very close to vertical position. It travels at three times the speed of sound, and three minutes after lighting the engines, the craft is at 180,000 feet about 50,000 kilometers. It turns off its engines and coasts to peak altitude of 350,000 feet, about 107,000 kilometers. A minute and a half is needed to coast back down, enter the Earth's atmosphere, and then approximately 20 minutes are used for the aircraft to glide and land horizontally. According to XCOR, the Lynx is still undergoing tests. The first launch should take place within the next 6 to 18 months. Using a drone-style system to fly aircraft may prevent plane crashes. Existing technology could allow for planes to become more automated and give ground staff the ability to seize control of planes if necessary. Andreas Lubitz, the co-pilot on German Wings Flight 4U9525, was able to crash the aircraft by locking the captain out of the cockpit and turning off the autopilot. In a drone-style system, planes can communicate with the air traffic control tower, either directly or via satellite link. In response to information from the plane, air traffic control could override the cockpit commands and input commands from the control tower to maintain stable flight. Boeing patented an uninterruptible pilot system in 2009 that prevents unauthorized flights. The fly-by-wire system can navigate an aircraft to a predetermined destination and land the aircraft safely. The practice of flying airplanes from the ground is currently limited to military purposes, despite the ability to extend the same technology to commercial flights. The Airbus 320 was built to last. The Airbus 320 transports more than a million people a day, and the 150-seat medium-haul jet is one of the world's most intensively used jetliner, together with its main rival, the Boeing 737. Reuters reports that currently there are more than 3,600 of the Airbus 320 jets in operation and another 3,700 waiting to be built. Along with the rest of the A320 family of twin-engine single-aisle jets, more than 6,000 are in use several times a day. 
German Wings' parent company Lufthansa recently placed orders for over 100 new A320s. When the A320 began service in 1988, it was the first jetliner designed to rely on computers to fly within safe limits, replacing the usual control yoke with a side stick inspired by the F-16 fighter. Reuters reports separate surveys published last year by manufacturers Airbus and Boeing show only 10 to 12 percent of fatal accidents take place when an aircraft is at cruise height. Safety experts say it's too early to speculate on what caused a German Wings aircraft to crash on Tuesday. Boeing patent reveals drone capable of flying forever. Boeing has received a patent for a type of drone that could potentially fly forever. The patent describes a lighter-than aircraft which charges via tether while remaining aloft. When the drone receives a signal, it detaches from the charging tether and changes location. The drone could also be charged via ship, moving land vehicle, or high-altitude balloon. The system addresses two drawbacks of traditional drones. Fixed-wing drones require a runway to take off and must return to base to recharge. Vertical takeoff drones have limited range and cumbersome landing gear. The floating drones could provide persistent monitoring of an area or rapid delivery service without needing to land.